So I was just scrolling through Twitter today, and just as the tweet came out, I got to see what Rockstar Games said in it. It said, hashtag GTA Online. In and out mode, coming May 3rd, two times GTA dollar RP playlists and weapon discounts start today. So, I clicked onto the newswire link to this so that we could get a better idea of what was going on. So, I'm going to be explaining all of that to you guys now, all of the details of this next week, everything that's going to be happening in GTA Online. So you guys can make some extra money and RP in GTA Online, and of course try out this new in and out adversary mode. So I'm going to be explaining all of this. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, then be sure to go and drop a like down below, as it really would help me out as always. Now let's go. So, the Rockstar Newswire post is entitled this. In and out week. April 29th to May the 5th, double GTA dollars and RP playlists, discounts, and new adversary mode in and out, coming this Tuesday. Brand new adversary mode in and out launches this Tuesday, May the 3rd, an intense new take on capture style team gameplay where attackers must try to steal all eight packages of contraband out from under the watchful eye of well-armed defenders. Welcome in this new mode with a week-long double GTA dollars and RP adversary modes playlist, which will feature all three in and out maps from Tuesday through to this Thursday, May the 5th, and special ammunition discounts is followed by this picture which is now on screen. They then say this. Double GTA Dollars and RP Adversary Modes Playlists All week long, jump into GTA Online and take advantage of a Double GTA Dollar and RP Adversary Mode Playlist, with rotating modes including favorites like Hunting Pack, Hasta La Vista, and more. Hit the prompt button in the GTA 5 launch screens to dive straight in. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for playlist reminders. And then they have three different adversary mode playlists, which are actually going to be featuring. I'll have a picture of those on screen now. And then they finish it off with this. Ammunition sale. Ammunition is helping you get your target practice in with cut rate savings on various guns, explosives, mods, and ammo in store. Take a ride to any location and stock up on the following reduced items. Grenades, 20% off. Sticky bombs, 20% off. Assault Rifle Mods, 25% off. Combat MG, 25% off. And SMG Ammo, 50% off. So of course I look forward to the release of this Adversary Mode playlist, but the next thing I noticed as I looked in the comments to this, I was very unsurprised to see the great backlash to this, as always. I'll be having the comments here on screen. They say things like, Adversary Mod, ooh, why? Amber Madness says, Oh look, another Adversary. Can you actually produce nothing else anymore? Be so kind, add some more heists already. There are plenty from story mode you can use in GTA Online. Alright, oh my god, I hate seeing this. This doesn't make sense. You guys have no idea how game development works. You don't have even the most basic idea. It's not just, oh, well, it's in single player. Let's just throw it in online and make it work. Those heists were particularly scripted for a single player experience. And there's a lot of things that go into porting it to online. And adversary modes seem a whole lot easier to make than entire heists themselves. Guys, I'd be so ungrateful. For example, Dan EXE says, okay, this isn't even funny anymore. Shoe in a bag says Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. Free server says so. I stopped playing GTA 5, so I return with the Rockstar launch of real DLC, not these adversary modes that almost nobody likes. Do you even play this adversary thing? Is the is the demand really this high? They keep on pushing it every week. This is just ridiculous. Like I I genuinely I've completely steered away from this from the actual tone of this video. But it does annoy me, every single Rockstar Newswire post that isn't 100% great if it's not the announcement of fucking GTA 6 or a brand new heist set, you get these types of comments. I just wanted to go on this little rant just to say guys, please be grateful for anything that Rockstar gives us. There are no obligation to give us free content at all now, they're doing it. And not just for us of course, it's to actually support the game and keep it running still. But just be grateful that you're getting anything new at all, whether it be in the form of discounts, extra money, extra RP, or these new adversary modes. It's still something that we didn't have days before, and just enjoy it for the time that it's here. And wait until we get another big piece of information from Rockstar Games. More will be coming soon, but just be grateful for what we have, because I hate seeing this kind of thing. So that is pretty much my rant over, and that is the information that I have today for you guys in GTA Online. So, if you guys did end up enjoying the video, then be sure to go and hit that like button down below, as it really would help me out. As always, subscribe for more videos just like this, coming very soon. And finally, follow me on Twitter, there will be a link in the description down below, where I post more daily GTA 5, real life, and graphic design content every single day. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching, my name has been Flair, signing out.